ASU bullying has become more and more of an issue we all know too well. Here with us this morning to talk about this problem that affects all of us is Marilyn Applebaum, an expert on child care. We're so glad you're here today, Marilyn, because this is important information parents need to know. It seems like we're hearing more and more cases of bullying. It's a, it's a pretty widespread problem, isn't it? Yes, it is. It's growing, growing, growing. It's escalating. And the reason it's escalating is it's always been around, was it? But the problem is now that we have the cyberbullying, we have an increase in gr girls bullying, and we have a whole generation of all about me kids mm -hmm. that are having fun hurting other kids. I can tell you as a mom, the last thing you want to hear is your child telling you that somebody has hurt them with words, with whatever it is. It seems to be words a lot. I even hear that from my preschooler when people make fun of him. So what does a parent do because you feel so torn and you want to help your child? Is this little person that you've made and you love so much? Okay, so <laughs> the first thing is, it, it sounds like you're already doing it because you're being involved with your child mm -hmm. and that's what parents need to do. They need to be involved they need to have one-to-one -one time with their children they need to be able to listen so children will talk and what that means is that they have to stop talking and do like you know just like what you're doing now mm -hmm. nod their heads as their as the kids talk that's why I wrote a whole book on how to listen so kids will talk so that's one thing they need to do another thing they need to do is they need to greet and read their children every day when they come home from school whether they're teeny little pre-k kids or their elementary or their middle school or their high school they need to read the expressions on their face do they look sad do they look upset does it look like something's wrong and if there is then they need to sit down and talk and and have that relationship established if they find out that their kids are being bullied then they've got to stop it they've got to report it they start with the school they start with the counselor they move from mm -hmm. the counselor to the principal. Oh, you're so, going to get the ear. I am going to get the ear. And the advice <laughs> here is is parents, first of all, need to listen. And they need to pay attention to, to the body language of their children. If they say, oh, I'm okay, well, yeah. that probably means they might not be okay. But you have some good learning to some <laughs> lessons here. Tell us about this big guy. Uh, what I is this? I love props. <laughs> and this one is something that parents would just have in their home. It's an ear. And they'd have it in a special place. And when young children, pre-K or mm -hmm. elementary, <laughs> with the middle and high school, it's a different tack. But when the younger children want to have their parents here, mm -hmm. it's hard for them to say, hey, mom, I've got something really yucky that's happening. Mm -hmm. But they can go get the ear which means I need your ear, mm -hmm. and then the parent knows this is something really serious. That is a good advice. So you, you have these on your website. Then. Yes, I do, <laughs> www.atiseminars.org. Okay. Yeah, we have lots of stuff. So people need to, to read up and know what to do, maybe read some books if, if they need exactly. that resource and they just feel lost and don't know how exactly, to help. Exactly, exactly. And they, they can't give up. Mm -hmm. parents, <laughs> parents can't give up. They have to keep going until they get somebody to do something about it. Tell us about your training institute in the Sugarland area. Oh, it's so cool. <laughs> well, we train, uh, we train teachers, parents all across the whole country, and we've done some international training, and we've been doing it for 21 years, and from um, people who have very, very young children, infants, toddlers, all the way through to those high school kids and uh, and teach them the tools that they need to mm -hmm. work with the kids most effectively and to be the best parent, to be the best teacher. And it's a lot of fun. So we have speakers who work for us. My son and I, it's a family-owned mm -hmm. company. My son and I uh, work together as a team, own the company, and we have awesome presenters and they're all fun and they go out into the community, into the world, and uh, we call ourselves difference makers, and we tell all the people who work with kids mm -hmm. that they get to be a difference maker. Well, thank you for making a difference. We certainly appreciate you talking today, and uh, we know you've helped a lot of parents in need. Oh, I hope so. You're all welcome. Right. Thanks for having Thanks. me. Thanks. Marilyn Applebaum.